could even What's worse. Wrong? Mm-hmm. So the, the, the two biggest examples I think of when I think of this debate for this topic is Jay Cutler, who seemingly never trained to failure. Uh, and then I think of Dorian Yates, who trained to failure every workout on every, not every set, but all his working sets. So then you have two guys who are both massive, both have great physiques, both have a ton of muscle, who train completely differently. And one with super high volume, one with super low volume, one to failure, one not to failure. What's the guy watching supposed to say? Like, okay, so, I mean, at the end of the day, like my, I don't know what your summary would be. My summary would be going back to the consistency versus hard work thing. It's almost like you have to, to me, I feel like you have to find what you like. Because if you don't like it, like if you said to me right now, hey, Fuad, I think you should do low volume Dorian Yates style training. I wouldn't enjoy my time in the gym. Like I, I like doing more volume. I don't necessarily train to failure on every set. Um, so my thought process would be you have to kind of do what you like or else you're not going to do it every day. I, I think that, I think that that's true, but I also think there is a trade-off, and you hit the nail on the head there uh, between volume and intensity. So what what you generally so you'll hear of people like Jay who is slightly lower. Jay still trained hard as hell, oh, by the way. Course. like yeah, he he yeah. trained super hard, but not always to failure. He was more of like a mind muscle connection guy for the most part, from what I could tell. Yeah. Um, but he did very high volume. Like his workouts were crazy. Yeah, like five to sets, 20, uh, twenty-five yeah, to thirty sets. Exercise yeah. is yeah. nuts. Like his back day. I actually watched this recently because I did a video about this, and I so I watched a bunch of Jay's training footage. And um, his back day, I was like, okay, pull downs. All right, machine row. All right, <laughs> different grip pull down. All yeah, right, different yeah. grip row. Okay, yeah. pullovers. Back to more like a stretch yeah. thing here, and then it's like it would never end. I was like, this is yeah. insanity. Yeah. Um, so if you're gonna go the lower intensity route, or what I would just call like a, mo- I don't think low intensity at works at all. Uh, yeah. But mo- if you're gonna go more moderate high intensity, then you have to compensate. I think by doing more volume. Right. Sure. Uh, whereas if you're going to go the very high intensity Dorian Yates style, you have to compensate by doing lower volume yeah. because Definitely. otherwise you won't be able to recover. Right. Sure. And, and you'll very rarely see people who do both. Like sure. show me someone who does Dorian Yates style intensity with Jay Cutler style, style volume. And I'll yeah. show you someone in the hospital. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ronnie Coleman. Right. There you go. Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie pretty Coleman. much. That's and and even that. in Ronnie's case, actually, this is interesting because I looked at Ronnie's training and even he, I wouldn't say took all sets to failure, but no. when he, when he went there, he went there, like he yeah. went there. And I think an issue with him too, was that I think he went there on some more risky exercises. Like Definitely. he was going there on front squats and deadlifts and like these exercises that like even power lifters who are required to do these lifts yeah. are not going that hard. So yeah. that was another factor that, that came in there, but yeah. yeah. So what do we, so I, I kind of gave my summary. What do you, is that your summary to the person watching? Like you're going to pick one or the other and that's just like, <laughs> and that's actually pretty much what I would say. Honestly, yeah, I, I yeah. think that, I think that if you're the type of person who say, you know, and, and you have to self-experiment, right? Because yeah. some people legitimately, and, and we see this in the studies too, by the way, this is another big thing sure. is that like, I say, okay, this study found this. No, the study found that on average, meaning there are some people who found the really high volume or whatever condition to be worse for them. And some people who found it to be way better, but we'll meet in the middle to see what the average was. And that's the result that is generally reported. It's a little different for different studies, but that's mm-hmm. usually what's happening in these studies, right? Mm-hmm. So you have, to, you have to be, in my opinion, like your own scientist, go in the gym, get some experience, try out different things and see what you respond best to, not just on a, what makes me grow the biggest muscles, but also like, what is going to allow me to stick to this at the appropriate intensity for the longest period of time, which is what you said. Mm -hmm. And so do both like experiment with a lower volume, higher intensity approach and see how you respond to that. Try a lower, moderate intensity, uh, higher volume approach and see how you respond to that. But I wouldn't recommend blending the two of those. So I'm going to be the guy watching right now, asking the question. How long do I experiment? Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.